Hey guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to try to model this headphone. This one was quite interesting because at first sight, it is looking quite easy to model, but it is not, I can tell you that. Mostly because of the top part is quite different. I mean, it is a rounder shape, but these edges are pretty sharp. Then we have this detail over here with a tight angle. So it was quite interesting to model this one but I managed to get a decent result and I will show you my process in the tutorial. So let's get into it. Let's first import the image planes in front view, shift and V back, select this one, some transparency and I'm gonna center this one like that. I'm gonna copy that path, control C, go to right view, shift and V, and paste that over some transparency can put this one over here then we are good to go now i'm gonna add in a cube change the size right view i'm gonna move it over here more depth and that's gonna be it now we can make this one editable hit c on the keyboard I will go into polygon mode and delete these polygons because we are not going to need them. Just delete them. Now I will go into points mode. I will select these top points, go to the front view, scale them on the X and move them up. Let's check the bottom points. I need to scale them. By the way, I am hitting space bar to switch between the tools. For example, if I hit space, it's going to switch to move tool. If I hit space one more time, it's going to switch to scale tool. All right, now let's check the right view. I'm going to move these two points over here, then move this down and this one over here. Okay, we got the basic shape. Now it's time to add more geometry. I will right click, select loop cut tool, hold down shift, add this one in. Then I'm going to increase these numbers. I want something manageable like six. It's not too low and not that high either. Now I need to reposition these, these new edges and points. For example, these outer points, I'm gonna scale them on the X and position them. I will do the same thing for the other points as well. Okay, now I will do the same things on the right view. Grab former. Okay, now for the last thing, I'm gonna add this loop cut right in the center so that I can select these and delete that part so I can add a symmetry in by holding Alt. Now I want to put this on the vision surface and check the wireframes. As you can see, the front part is looking quite good, but when we check the sides, they are not looking very good. I mean, the polygons are stretched along the z axis. So I need to add more geometry. So I will add in a loop cuts and increase the cuts to two. Now let's check the wireframes one more time. Now, much better. While the subdivision surface is on, let's position these one more time. By the way, if you turn off the ISO line editing, you can see the mesh clearly. Let me check the shape, yes. These edges should be really tight, so I will add a loop cut over here. Perfect, but this is gonna create a problem. If you check the top part, as you can see, actually, let me show you in this one, yes. As you can see, this is a very smooth shape, like a disc shape. So we need to move these points away from each other to get a smooth shape, for example, like that, or you can select these only since we are using a symmetry i should not select this one select these right click and select iron tool 
is going to smooth these out like that and can maybe move this one over here let's hit q okay now this is looking much better just like the shape we have and actually i'm gonna select these and move them on the x okay now this looks much better now let's try to work on this part the most challenging part first thing first uh, I need to select these edges, then select slide tool, hold my control and slide these in. This is going to create these new edges so that I can get these details. So first I'm going to slide these down, then these edges, slide them. By the way, while we are sliding, try to select the proportional offset mode. this should be enough for the left side i'm gonna slide these points now i'm gonna double click on this select slide tool slide them over here then i will slide that point over here and you know what i'm gonna merge this one to this one hold down control merge it then i'm gonna double click on this and dissolve them this is gonna lower the polygon count which is a plus always but it's gonna create a triangle over here Never mind that, I will get you that later. Then let's see, maybe we can use equal spacing tool. Now, to get that hole, I will do the same thing basically. Just double click on these edges, right click, select slide, hold on control, and slide. Then I'm gonna double click on parts slide them same here double click actually before doing that i need to move these over here so it's going to create a space now i can slide uh, this edge over here then this point can go over here then this point and these, uh, these as well Okay, now we can delete these polygons. As you can see from the shape, it looks like we need to select these and move them like that to get that depth in the shape. But I should not move them like that because if you check the bottom part and if you check the image plane, the bottom part should not have the same depth as the top part. So instead of moving, moving them, I will hit T change my axis offsets to something like that so starting point will be over here then i'm gonna scale this on the x then i'm gonna move them just a bit not too much like that perfect now if i remember correctly yes this part should be really tight or sharper so i will hold on control and slide this in so let's hit Q. All right, looking really nice. Maybe we can move this in just a bit. Then I will select these edges, slide them over here. Perfect. Then it's going to be good to have a sporting edge like this one. First, we need to connect this. I will grab polygon pen tool, connect these ones, hit Q, check the wireframes, everything is looking clear. Now, I will move some of these, and that should be it. Of course, this part is supposed to be tighter. I am talking about that edge, so I'm going to select these three edges, right click, select bevel. I'm going to change my subdivision to one and I'm going to bevel this. Something like that should be enough. I will select polygon pen tool, connect it 
or in that one I will need an extra edge over here then I'm gonna connect this one over here which means that I'm gonna slide this over here to keep that curve uh, because you know whenever you have curved edges you need to keep the distance between the points the same for example if I put this one over here you're gonna see that uh, I'm starting to lose that this shape or circular shape you may get these sharp angles go to the cube fong angle and turn off edge breaks also, I have just noticed that as we go lower, the sharpness is not that dominant. So I'm going to select these edges and slide them off. Yeah. And another thing, if you check this one here, I need to change the edge flow at the bottom part. I will grab polygon pen tool, start from that point, and I will stop right here then connect this one now i'm gonna add this one in and get rid of that one and i will let this one in okay let's scale this to make them perfectly flat and move them over here or we can select this as well scale them Okay, great. Now let me see. Yes, this part is supposed to be sharper. To make this part sharper, I will need a look cut. But if I want to add a look cut in, this is not going to be exactly what I want because I will need an extra point over here to make this part tighter. So let's add this one in. Then use look cut tool, add this one, connect these two, merge these ones. And it's gonna make this part tighter. Now let me check over here because I want to slide this one over here. I want this part basically softer. Yeah, that should be enough. Now let's try to give some thickness. I will make the symmetry editable. Now I'm gonna double click on these edges or look cut should select them all. Hold and shift. It is to your selection, then I'm gonna select extrude tool, extrude them like that. Yeah, for tighter parts, you may not get a good result, you just need to select them manually and smooth them. Okay, let's hit Q. Of course, we are gonna need to make these parts tighter, so let's make a loop selection, then hold on control, slide them in. And we can add this one in. Perfect. Of course, we can go to the subdivision surface and increase the subdivision number to get a better result. Now I want to create a mocap material, kind of, to see if we have any imperfections on the surface. You don't need to do that, but you know, this is a plus. GGX, change the Fresnel. To the electric and no roughness assign that as you can see the result is really good no pinching no imperfections really smooth surface now let's try to model the other parts quickly I will first turn off this one and edit Safirin I'm gonna position it over here, then here. Yes, it should fit in perfectly. Then I'm gonna hide this one, change my surface type to hexadron because we are working in side division surface workflow. And then I'm gonna lower the segments to eight, make this one editable. I don't think we are gonna need. The right side so the selection then delete and 
select the edges i'm going to reset my axis hold down control scale one more time scale okay now let's unhide this one and put the or so here on the or side region surface group some of the parts will stick out we don't want that so i'm gonna select these and scale them in basically same here Scale them. As you can see, and when I enable side view surface, the shape gets shrinked a lot. Like, as you can see, so I need to scale this just a bit, move them, reposition them. Okay, they should be enough. Now let's close that gap. Hold on control, scale, then I will cut maybe. Then I'm gonna select these polygons only. Split them, select these edges. I will extrude them, let's say three times, then scale them. Then this part, hold down control, scale, and let's move them in by holding control, hit Q. Okay, I'm gonna keep that object as it is because you know these objects are usually very soft. So I will just duplicate this one, change its color to black, assign this one to this one, duplicate this, and give some roughness. Okay, perfect. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for these objects. Let's rename that. And I hope you like the tutorial. You know, if you want more 3D content or more advanced stuff, you can check my Gumrod and Patreon. Actually, I know that a lot of you guys want a car modeling tutorial. And I started to upload them on my Patreon. Uh, let me show you my progress so far. So this is where I am at right now. You can see the progress. I know there are lots of things to be modeled, but you can find the parts uh, on my Patreon. I believe I have posted like seven parts. So anyway, guys, I hope you learned something new today and I'm going to see you in the next choice. Bye.